Now, in this lecture, we'll talk about the structure of the great poem, The Night in the Panther Skin. Actually, the poem consists of 1669 stanzas, and uh, each uh, stanza consists of four lines, and each line consists of 16 syllables. And uh, the structure of the stanza is according to a particular uh, poetic form that is called Shairi. And uh, in Shairi we have uh, stanzas that consist of four lines and each line consists of 16 syllables. And we have two types of shairi. We have Marali shairi and Dabali shairi. In Marali shairi, the line is broken, the line that consists of 16 syllables also. Of course, each line consists of 16 syllables. So the line is broken into four segments, one, two, three, four. And each segment consists of Four syllables, so it is four plus four plus four plus four. While in the Dabali Shagri, each line is also broken into four segments one, two, three, four. But the first segment consists of five syllables, the second segment consists of three syllables, uh, the third segment consists of five syllables, and the fourth segment consists of three syllables. In both uh, types, we have a uh, break or comma after the second segment. Here and here. Okay. And uh, in this uh, particular form that is uh, called uh, Shairi, uh, we use uh, Marali Shairi when the uh, space of the plot is fast. And we use the Dabali Shairi when the pace of the plot is slow. Okay? But what is uh, fast pace? Uh, the pace of the plot is fast when in the stanza we have uh, things that happened uh, during uh, a long period of time and therefore uh, the pace of uh, that stanza is fast and then we we'll use the Marali Shairi that is to say the structure of the syllables in each line of this stanza will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and the rhyming will be on the last three syllables of the last word in each line and uh, we use uh, the Bali Shairi when the pace of the plot is slow uh, an example of a slow pace is uh, when the poet quotes the things uh, that one of the characters said to another character of the poem that those things happened at a certain moment and therefore the pace of the plot is slow and uh, therefore, uh, the structure of the 16 syllables on that particular uh, stanza will be 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3. The rhyming will be on the last three syllables of the last word in each line. While in the Marali Shari, we will use Marali Shari whenever the pace of the plot is fast, then the structure of the 16 syllables in each line will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and the rhyming will be on the last two syllables of the last word in each line. 
So in order to clarify the issue, uh, we'll give you a couple of examples. The first example is uh, from uh, Standard 802. That is actually chapter 11 of the poem. In chapter 11, chapter 11 is about the testament of Aftandil to King Ostevan when he stole away. Aftandil is the commander of the Arab armies and uh, actually he stole away from King Osevan, that is the King of Arabia and actually he went uh, to India to meet his friend Tariel and uh, of the deep tells King Osevan that if something bad will happen to him during the journey to India to meet uh, his friend Tariel uh, that uh, King Osevan should mourn his death and uh, King Osevan he asked from King Osevan to mention him or to tell about him uh, what things okay so here it is the quoting of the things that of the details to King Osevan therefore the structure of the 16 syllabus in each line will be 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 the rhyming will be of the last 3 syllabus of the last word in each line so first of all I will read the standard in the English translation then I will read it in the original language the Georgian language and we will analyze this standard 802 and uh, I actually uh, forgot to mention that uh, another characteristic of this great poem, The Night in the Panther Skin, is that the poet repeats at least of the last three letters of the last word in each line. Okay, so when I show you the example of this other in the tour, you see exactly what does it mean. So I read Sana two in English translation and then we read it in the Georgian language and we analyze this Sana. So Sana two in the English translation is as follows If fate the destroyer of all destroy me and often I shall die traveling unmourned by parent nor will those who brought me up nor the friend whom I trust enshroud me, then indeed will you, merciful tender heart, have pity on me. Okay. Now I'll read the stanza in the original language and then I'll analyze this stanza, 802. Stanza 802 in the original language is as follows. To such a Roman Damam horse, or Versa Damam Hobelman, Aribi Mogde Haribat, Versami Tiros Shobelman, Veral Shem Sudron Dazdilta, the Versa Misan Dobelman, Munchemitz Alos Quenman Ve, Gulman Motralem Lobelman. So here, the first two words. Of line number one is two sa tut roman. Two consists of one syllable, sa tut roman consists of four syllables. So in terms of those two words, two sa tut roman consists of five syllables. Then the third word of line number one is da mam hos, it consists of three syllables. Then the next two words uh, are over ta da mam. Over ta consists of Three syllables, da mam consists of two da mam consists of two syllables in total those two words over the da mam 
consists of five syllables and finally Oben man consists of three syllables. So in conclusion you can say that line number one is broken into four segments of five plus three plus five plus three syllables and the rhyming is on the last three syllables of the last word uh, of line number one. The last word is Damam Hobelman. This word, Damam Hobelman, consists of five syllables and the uh, rhyming is on the last three syllables of this word, Damam Hobelman, that is to say Obelman, 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 and Obelman. Okay? And uh, uh, this word, Damam Hobelman, it uh, consists of 13 letters and the repetition is on Obelman. Obelman consists of the following letters O, B, A, L, M, A and N. So the rhyming is on the last three syllables of this word that is Obelman and the repetition is on also on Obelman that consists of the letters O, B, A, L, M, A, and N. Then we have uh, the first two words of line number two is Raribi, Mogde. Raribi consists of three syllables, Mogde consists of two syllables. In total, those two words, Raribi, Mogde consists of five syllables. Then the third word of line number two is Raribad, it consists of three syllables. And then the next two words are ver damitiros. Ver consists of one syllable. Da mitiros consists of four syllables. So in total those two words ver damitiros consist of five syllables. And finally the last word of line number two is shobelman. Okay? That is to say it consists of three syllables, Sho, Bel, Man. And the rhyming is on Obelman, and the repetition is on the uh, last seven letters of this word, Sho, Man. That is to say, the repetition is on O, B, and the letters O, B, A, L, M, A, and N. Then we have the first two words of line number three, um, verar, verar consists of two syllables, shem, sud, ron consists of three syllables, in total those two words, verar, shem, sud, ron consists of five syllables. Then we have the third word of line number three is das, dil, ta, it consists of three syllables. Then we have the words da, verza, misant, da, consists of one syllable, verb tsa consists of two syllables, and misan consists of two syllables. So, in total, do, those words, the verb tsa misan consists of one plus two plus two, that is five syllables. And finally, we have open man, that consists of uh, three syllables. So, in conclusion, you can say that the structure of the 16 syllables of line number three is five plus three plus five plus three and the rhyming is on the last three syllables of uh, this uh, the last word that is Missan Doberman. Missan Doberman consists of five syllables and the last three uh, syllables of this word Missan Doberman is Oberman. So the rhyming is on Oberman and the repetition is on the letters O, B, A, L, M, A and N. Then we have uh, the first two words of line number four are moon, she means alos. Moon consists of one syllable, she means alos consists of four syllables. So in total, those two words, moon, she means alos, consists of five syllables. Then the third word of line number four is when man. Where it consists of three syllables. Then we have Gulman Motsale. Gulman consists of 
Tools in the mods are a consist of three syllables. In total, those two words consist of five syllables. And finally, uh, we have uh, Obelman. So the structure of the 16 syllables in line number four are five plus three plus five plus three. The line meaning is on the last three syllables of the last word. The last word is very long. Word. This is Mots Alem Lobelman, and the rhyming is on the last three syllables of this long word that is Obelman, and the repetition is on the letters O, B, A, L, M, A, and N. Okay, so in conclusion, you can say that uh, stanza 802 is uh, according to the it's belt, uh, is constructed according to. The, the Bali Shairi, it is in a slow pace because it is the quoting of the things that of the deal uh, told to King Kostevan. Whenever we have a quote in, in the poem, it will be always in a slow pace because it happened in a certain moment. And uh, the rhyming is on the last three syllables of the last word in each line. That is to say, the rhyming is on Obelman, 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 and Obelman. And the repetition is uh, on the last seven letters of the last word in each line. That is to say, the repetition is on letters O, B, A, L, M, A, and N. Okay, so we finish with stanza 802. Then we focus on stanza 791. Stanza 791 is a poem about love. Uh, What is an aphorism? Aphorism is a concise statement of a principle, a proof, or a sentiment. Okay, I repeat again. An aphorism is a concise statement uh, about principle, proof, or a sentiment. And the standard 791 is aphorism about love. And uh, usually, uh, whenever you have a tourism in the stanza, in, in the poem, uh, the structure will be according to the Mahali Shari, it is in a fast pace. That is to say, the structure of the syllabus in each line will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, and the rhyme will be on the last two syllables of the last word in each line. But we have also exceptionals. That is uh, to say, we have uh, an aphorism uh, that uh, is according to the Dabali Shairi. That is to say, uh, in those aphorism, uh, the structure of the 16 syllables in, in each line is 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3, and the rhyming is of the last three syllables of the last word in each line. But Zala 791 is not an exceptional, therefore uh, the structure of the 16 syllables in each line is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, and the rhyming is on the last two syllables of the last word in each line. So I'll read the Zala in the translation to English, and then I'll read it in the original language and in analyze the Zala 791. Zala 791 in the translation to English is as follows. Thou hast read how the apostles write of love, how they speak of it, how they praise it, know thou it, and harmonize thy knowledge. Love exalted us. This is, as it were, the tinkling burden of the earth's son. If thou conceive not this, how can I convince ignorant men? Okay. Now I read the stanza in the original language and we'll analyze it. Stanza 791 in the original language is as follows. <laughs> Sirwa Ruli Agwa Marleb, Svitej Wani Amas Jeren, Shenar Jelkhar, Ustavleni Katsni, Vit Mtsar Sheva Jeren. 
So here the first word of line number one is Tsa Gi Kit Havs, it consists of four syllables, then the second word is Sir Wa Rul Sa, it also consists of four syllables. The third word of line number one is Mo Ti Kul Ni, it also consists of four syllables. Then the last word of the last two words of line number one is Ragwar Tseven. Ragwar consists of two syllables and Tseven also consists of two syllables. So in conclusion you can say that uh, line number one is broken into four segments of four plus four plus four plus four syllables. And the rhyming is on the last uh, two syllables of the last word uh, in each line. The last word of line number one is Tseven and the rhyming is on Rn. That is to say, the rhyming in stanza uh, 791 is on Rn. So we have Rn, Rn, Rn and Rn. And the uh, poet repeats on the last four letters of the last word in each line. So I already mentioned here, the last word of line number one is Tseven. It consists of five letters and the repetition is on the last uh, four letters, that is Rn. Rn consists of the letters A, R, A and N. Okay, then we have uh, the first two words of line number two are Vit, It, Rian. Vit consists of one syllable, It, We, An consists of three syllables, so in total Vit, It, Rian consists of four syllables. Then we have Vit, Akeben. The next two words are Vita Kemen. Vit consists of one syllable. A Keben consists of three syllables. So in total, those two words, Vita Kemen, consist of four syllables. Then we have the next two words are Tsan, Snobani. Tsan consists of one syllable. Snobani consists of four, uh, three syllables. In total, those two words, Tsan, Snobani, consist of four syllables. And finally, the last word of line number two is me a peren, it consists of four syllables. So in conclusion you can say that uh, the structure of the 16 syllables in line number four are four plus four plus four plus four and the rhyming is on the last two syllables of the last word. The last word is me a peren and the rhyming is on the last two syllables, it consists of four syllables and the last two syllables are rn, so the rhyming is on rn and the repetition is on the uh, letters a, r, a and n. That is the last four letters of uh, the last word we are pairing. Then we have uh, the first word of line number three as Sir Wa Ru Li. Sir Wa Ru Li consists of four syllables. Then uh, the second word of line number three is Ag Wa Marlebs. It also consists of four syllables. Then the next two words of line number uh, three are Vit Ejwani. It consists of one syllable, Ejwani consists of three syllables, so in total those two words, Vit Ejwani consists of four syllables. And finally, the last two words of line number three are Amas, Jreven. Amas consists of two syllables, and Jreven consists also of two syllables. In total, those two last word, uh, words of line number three consist of four syllables, so therefore the structure of the 16 syllables in line number three are four plus four plus four plus four. And the rhyming is on the last two syllables of the last word, that is Jreven, therefore the rhyming is on Rn. And the repetition is on the last four letters of this last word Jreven, that is to say the rhyming is on the, uh, the repetition on the last four letters of this last word Jreven. The last four letters of the word Jreven are A, R, A and N. And then we have uh, in line number four, the first four words are Shen Al Jerhar. Each word consists of one syllable, and therefore those four words consist in total four syllables. Then we have the fifth word of line number four is Us Tav Lel Ni. Us Tav Lel Ni consists of four syllables. Then we have Katsni Vidza. Katsni consists of two syllables, Vitsa also consists of two syllables, in total those two words, Katsni uh, Vitsa consists of four syllables, and finally the last word of line number four is 
J1J ln is consists of four syllables, and therefore, uh, in conclusion, we can say that uh, uh, the structure of the 16 syllables of line number four in uh, standard 791 is four plus four plus four plus four. The rhyming is on the last two syllables that, uh, of the, uh, this word Shevajaren. It consists of four syllables, and the rhyming is on the last two syllables, that is to say, Rn. In the repetition, is on the last four, four letters, that is to say, Ar and then. So, in conclusion, we can say that standard 791 is according to the Mangali Shari, it is in a fast pace. It is a aphorism about love. And usually, whenever I have a poem, it will be in a fast pace. And therefore, the assumption of the 16 syllables in each line are, uh, are 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And the rhyming is on the last two syllables, so the last four in each line, that is to say, Aaron, 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 and Aaron. And the repetition is on the last four letters of the last word in each line. And the letters are as follows A, R, A, and M. So we finished with standard 791. Then we have a focus on standard number two. Actually, in this red poem, the night in the daughter skin consists of prologue and epilogue. Prologue is the introduction to the poem. Uh, the prologue is not part of the story of the poem and for that reason uh, the structure of the 16 syllables in each line will be according to the, the Balishari it is in a slow pace because of the fact that you can uh, uh, write the poem without the prologue and epilogue this addition to the poem, and therefore, for that reason, the structure is according to the slopes, that is to say, it is in the Dabalishari, the structure of the six syllab syllables in each line is 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3, and the rhyming is on the last three syllables of the last word in each line. And in this uh, standard, we can see on how many letters of the last word in each line the poet repeats. So I'll read the standard in the translation to English, then I read it in the original English, and we'll see on how many letters of the last word in each line the poet repeats. So the standard uh, number two in the translation to English is as follows. O oh, one God, thou didst uh, create the face of every form Shield me, give me mastery to trample on Satan. Give me the longing of lovers, lasting even unto death, lightening of the burden of sins I must bear, that did are with me. So, in this stanza, uh, that is the prologue, uh, the poet uh, praises God that created the universe. He asks from God that God protect him and shield him from Satan. And, and God should also lighten the burden of his sins and, and that God will give him the lasting of lovers, the longing of lovers that lasts until the death. Okay, now I'll read uh, the Sada in the original language and we'll see on how many letters of the last word uh, the poet repeats. The Sada in the original language, Sada number two, is as follows Er, Merto, Erto, Shen Chekmen, Sape, Oblisa, Tanisa, Shen Dami Pare, Tleva Metz, Dat Hun Vat Mesa Tanisa, Momets Minurta Survili, Sit. Sigrid me ga satanisa. Sotvata she subukeba muntana ta satanisa. Okay, here I will not repeat on every word of this stanza. Number two, I've already mentioned that uh, 
The structure of the 16th number is in each line is 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3. It is the Balishari Shlokas, and the Raimin is on the last three syllables of the last word in each line. The last word of line number one is Tanisa. So the rhyming is on uh, Tanisa. And the, the last three syllables are Tanisa. So the rhyming is on the all this word Tanisa. Tanisa consists of three syllables. So the rhyming is on Tanisa, 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 and Tanisa. And uh, now we see how many letters the poet repeats on, of the last word. The last word of line number one is Tanisa. So here the poet repeats on all the letters of word Tanisa. That is to say, he repeats on the letters T, A, N, E, S, and A. Here Tanisa is body, and it repeats on all the letters of this word. Then the last word of line number two is Satanisa, it is the Satan. This word consists of eight letters. So the poet repeats on the last six letters of this word Satanisa, that is to say T A N E S N A. Then the last word of line number three is Gasatanisa. This word Satanisa consists of 10 letters and the poet repeats on the last six letters of this word that is to say T A N E S N A and finally we have uh, the last word of line number four is a Satanisa It consists of 10 letters and the poet repeats on the last 6 letters of this word Tsasatanisa, uh, that is to say on the uh, letters T-A-N-E-S-N-A. -S so in conclusion you can say that uh, standard number 2 that is part of the prologue, uh, the structure of the 16 syllables in each line is 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 and the poet repeats on the last 3 syllables of the last word in each line that is to say uh, uh, the rhyming is uh, on the last 3 syllables that is Tanisa, Tanisa, Tanisa and Tanisa and the poet repeats on the last 6 letters of the last word in each line and the word that he repeats is Tanisa and the the word Tanisa consists of the letters T, A, N, E, S, and A. In total, it is six letters. So, actually, uh, the poet succeeded to uh, combine all those uh, these, uh, characteristics uh, in this uh, great uh, poem that is a masterpiece. And uh, we can read and enjoy this uh, uh, poem that is uh, one of the most uh, genius poems uh, that uh, was written by mankind. Okay, thank you very much.